VAT, value added tax. The information below relates to Creamline traders for their two month period ended on the 31st of August, 2016. All items are subject to 14% VAT. VAT is now 15%. Please take note of that. I'm gonna repeat, VAT is now 15%. This is an older example. So for the purposes of this question, we are going to utilize the 14% VAT rate given, but in your paper, your examination, the VAT rate that will be given is 15%. So calculate the amount receivable or the amount payable uh, to SARS for VAT on the 31st of August, 2016. Indicate whether the amount is receivable or payable and you may complete a VAT control account and that is exactly what we're going to do. It's the most effective method. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you guys a method, the SOCO method. This is a little uh, trick that I developed myself because I really battled with VAT. I can't lie to you when I was in grade 11 as well as in matric, uh, it didn't really make sense to me. So I had to go back to the drawing board um, one fine weekend in June in the depths of cold Johannesburg. Yeah, depths of despair. I really didn't like this section at all, but uh, it's actually very, very easy once you get the hang of it. And I developed uh, this little trick called SOCO. So SOCO stands for sale or well, simply sell. O stands for output, C stands for credit, and O, this is owed to SARS. So the opposite would be pedo, which is, yeah, probably uh, not the best abbreviation. Yeah, I know, I, sh I should have thought this one through, huh? Okay, but uh, pedo stands for, well, this is gonna be a sale, this is gonna be a purchase, that's gonna be input, that's gonna be debit, so it's all the opposites, and this is gonna be owed, by SARS. So this is when SARS owe you. Okay, so let us have a look at the question and I'll show you how to utilize, how to work this kind of understanding. Okay, so this is our VAT control account. We need to calculate all the VAT amounts. We gotta do three calculations. So first things first, merchandise paid or expenses paid, our VAT amount here, it's the 225 minus the 198 and we're gonna get 27,720. It was a purchase, so this would go on the debit side. So 27,720. Goods taken by owner for personal use. Now, it's not always clear as to how we should use SOCO, right? So we always need to go back to the root transaction. What happened initially? So goods taken by owner for personal use. Initially, guys, this was a purchase. We had to have purchased these goods. So first, it was on this side. It was here. But now we're taking it out of the business, so we reverse it, and now it goes to the sales side. So it goes, I hate when it does that. It goes now to the sales side, so it becomes a credit, and that amount is gonna be 2,940. Also, uh, the amount owed two SARS, so owed two SARS goes on the credit side. It's gonna be 14,250. Let's just plug that one in quickly, quickly. Okay, next, we deal with the returns by debtors, return by a debtor, that means there was the root transaction, the root transaction, there initially was a sale, and this is a reversal of a sale. From 1120 on the credit side, that 1120 is now gonna go onto the debit side. So 1120, learn SOCO, but always go back to this idea of the root transaction. What happened initially? Next, uh, debtors accounts written off, so initially we made a sale, now we need to write off the account. So this is gonna go on the debit side. And in order to calculate the VAT amount, it's just gonna be 9,500 times 14%. And we get an amount here of 1330. Total sales, so sales, this is definitely go, gonna go on the credit side. This is including VAT. So to get the VAT amount, we're gonna say 332,880 times 14 over 114. Now remember, uh, if you get the included VAT amount in your paper, it's gonna be times 15 over 115 and we get this amount of 40,880. Now we can total our sides. We get 58,070. Let me just make it a little bit neater. Yeah, I know my handwriting isn't good. I promise it's gonna change. Um, and this side is clearly the bigger side. So this 27,900, it goes to the debit side. And because it's on our debit side, it's gonna be the amount O2 SARS. O2 SARS is gonna be payable. Therefore, 27,900 is payable. And don't forget to indicate that the amount is payable. Okay, remember, answer the question after you've drawn up your VAT control account. And if you write it like this, that is sufficient for your answer. It's an easy section, remember SOCO. And if it's not as clear cut, like 
they tell you something has been purchased, they tell you there's been a sale, sometimes you gotta go back to the root transaction. But yeah, you can do it, I believe in you.